find the mean then variance for the given data what is given xi and fi sigma fi is n 40 and uh, sigma fi xi is equal to 76 variance is equal to 43.4 and where is the mean therefore the mean what is mean mean is x bar so variance yi is equal to xi minus a divided by h this is a formula we are going to use to solve the problems hello dear students welcome to this session of mathematical and statistical computing class i am mr niranjan faculty department of computer science vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence today in this session i am going to discuss very important problems for the point of examination that is problems related to variance and standard deviation using shortcut methods right problems related to standard deviation and variance straight away move to the first problem so find the mean and variance first find the mean then variance for the given data what is given xi and fi xi 6 10 14 18 24 28 30 fi 2 4 7 12 8 4 and 3 this is given now just arrange this in the table xi fi fi into xi xi minus x bar x bar is the mean then xi minus x bar whole square and multiply this with fi fi into xi minus x bar whole square and find simplify you will get the answer that is it. Now what is given first xi what is xi 6 10 14 6 10 14 then 18 24 18 24 28 and 30 28 and 30 now f5 what is f5 f5 is 247 2 4 7 then 12 8 12 8 and the last two 4 and 3 this is given now just multiply these two f5 and xi 6 into 2, multiply these two, 6 twos are 12, 10 into 4 is 40, 14 into 7, 14 7s are 98, 18 into 12 is 216, this is 216, then 24 into 8 is 192, this is 192, then again 28 into 4 is 112, 112, and last one 30 into 3, 30 into 3 is 90. So, these are the values of fi and xi, okay. Now, add this, sigma fi is nothing but n, sigma fi is equal to n, capital N, add this, 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 12 plus 8 plus 3, if I add, this is equal to 40, n is equal to 40, okay. And add this, sigma fi xi, so if I add this, sigma fi xi is equal to, if I add, 12 plus 40 plus 98 plus 216 plus 192 plus 112 plus 90 is equal to 760. This is equal to 760. Okay. So, sigma fi is n 40 and uh, sigma fi xi is equal to 760. Now, find out x bar mean. Now, therefore, the mean x bar is equal to sigma fi xi fi xi divided by n. What is f i x i 760 divided by n, n is equal to 40, sigma f i x i is 760 divided by 40. So, this is nothing but 0 gets cancelled, 76 by 4 is nothing but 90, 19 fours are 76. So, therefore, x bar is equal to, the mean x bar is equal to 19, right. Now, find out the value of x i minus x bar, x i minus x bar, x bar is 19, just subtract 19 from this x i, subtract 19, 6 minus 19, 10 minus 19, 14 minus 19, 18 minus 19, 24 minus 19, 28 minus 19 and 30 minus 19. So, 6 minus 19, 6 minus 19 that is equal to minus 13, similarly 10 minus 19 is minus 9. 14 minus 19 is minus 5, 18 minus 19 is minus 1, then 24 minus 9 is plus 5, next 28 minus 19, 28 minus 19 is equal to plus 9, okay, and the last one 30 minus 19 is 11, plus 11. So, 
द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स आई माइनस एक्स बार इज माइनस थर्टीन माइनस नाइन माइनस फाइव माइनस वन प्लस फाइव प्लस नाइन एंड प्लस इलेवन ओके नो स्क्वायर दिस थर्टीन स्क्वायर माइनस थर्टीन स्क्वायर थर्टीन स्क्वायर माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस इट इज वन सिक्सटी नाइन नाइन स्क्वायर माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस नाइन नाइन एटी वन फाइव स्क्वायर फाइव फाइव आर ट्वेंटी फाइव वन स्क्वायर इज वन अगेन फाइव स्क्वायर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव नाइन स्क्वायर इज एटी वन लेवन स्क्वायर लेवन इंटू लेवन वन ट्वेंटी वन नाउ जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई दिस विथ एफ आई इंटू दिस टू एफ आई इंटू एक्स आई माइनस एक्स बार होल स्क्वायर सो मल्टीप्लाई सो टू इंटू वन सिक्सटी नाइन फोर इंटू एटी वन सेवन इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेल्व इंटू वन एट इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव फोर इंटू एटी वन अगेन थ्री इंटू वन ट्वेंटी वन सो फर्स्ट वन सिक्सटी नाइन इंटू टू वॉट इज दिस इक्वल टू सो दट इक्वल टू थ्री थर्टी एट सो राइट थ्री थर्टी एट ओके सिमिलरली फोर इंटू एटी वन सो दट इज थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर अगेन सेवन इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव वन सेवेंटी फाइव ट्वेल्व इंटू वन इज ट्वेल्व अगेन एट इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव एट जो टू हंड्रेड राइट फोर इंटू एटी वन इज थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर सो फोर इंटू एटी वन इज थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर अगेन थ्री इंटू वन ट्वेंटी वन इज थ्री सिक्सटी थ्री थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फोर नाउ एड दिस सो यूफ एड यू विल गेट सिग्मा एफ फाइव एक्स आई माइनस एक्स बार होल द स्क्वेर सो वट इज दिस इक्वल टू सो इट इज वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सिक्स वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सिक्स ओके सो इफ एड यू विल गेट सिग्मा एफ आई एक्स आई माइनस एक्स बार होल्स the standard deviation and the variance first find out the variance therefore the variance variance is equal to sigma yappa into xi minus x bar whole square divided by n where i is equal to 1 to 7 there are seven entries So I is equal to one to seven sigma yappa x i minus x bar whole square divided by n. So what is sigma yappa? So one seven three six sigma yappa x i minus x bar whole square is one seven three six divided by n. N is equal to forty. One thousand seven hundred thirty six divided by forty is equal to forty three point four. So therefore the variance is equal to. 43.4. So variance is equal to 43.4, and whereas the mean, therefore the mean, what is mean? Mean is x bar. What we got? 19. 19 is the mean. That's it. Okay. This is how we are going to solve this problem. Now move on to a similar type problem. Next concept is shortcut method to find the variance and standard deviation. Variance and the standard deviation. The variance is given by rho square is equal to H square by n square into n times sigma f i y i whole square minus sigma f i y i whole the square. This is n times sigma f i y i square minus sigma f i y i whole the square. So here the square for entire time, whereas the square is only for y i y i square. And the standard deviation is given by rho is equal to square root of this. So square square root gets cancelled here. H by n into this root of same quantity n into sigma f i y i whole square minus sigma f i y i whole the square. So here square square root gets cancelled. We will get h by n. So variance y i is equal to x i minus a divided by h. This is the formula we are going to use to solve the problems. Now move to a simple example. Find the mean and the standard deviation using shortcut method. Now take an example. Find the mean. What is to find mean and the standard deviation? Mean and the standard deviation using shortcut method. So given class interval and the frequency. This is the data given. Class interval zero to thirty, thirty, sixty, sixty, ninety, ninety, one twenty, one twenty to one fifty, one fifty to one eighty, one eighty to two ten. And the frequency two, three, five, ten, three, five, one, two. Now let us this in the table. So here class. Class and the frequency here. Five class zero thirty thirty sixty sixty ninety ninety one twenty one twenty one fifty one fifty one eighty and one eighty two ten. The frequency here five 
is 2, 3, 5, 10, 3, 5 and 2. So, whatever the value is given, just put in this first two columns. Now, find out the midpoint. Midpoint, you know, 0 plus 30 divided by 2. 30 by 2 is 15. The midpoint is 15. Again, 60 plus 30. 60 plus 30 is 90 divided by 2 is 45. That means just a difference of 30. 15 plus 30 is 45. 45 plus 30. That is equal to 75. 75 plus 30. 75 plus 30 is 105. Again, 105 plus 30. That is equal to 135. Again, 135 plus 30, that is 165. 165 plus 30 is 195. See, 180 plus 210 divided by 2, 195. So, it is 180 plus 210 divided by 2 is 195. This is the midpoint. Now, if I add this, sigma fi is equal to. So, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 5, 10, 10 plus 10 is 20, 20 plus 10 is 30. Sigma fi is 30. Okay. Now, let us find out the assumed mean. So, here the assumed mean is, this is the assumed mean. That is, a is equal to 105. So, therefore, a is equal to 105. So, what is the interval difference? Here the interval difference h is equal to, h is equal to 90 difference 120, the interval difference is 30. Okay. So, assumed mean a is equal to 105, h is equal to 30 and n, n is nothing but sigma fi that is also equal to 30. Now, find out deviation that is xi minus a divided by h. Now, deviation, deviation that is di, let me take one value, di is equal to xi minus a, xi is 15 minus a is assumed mean that is 105 divided by h, h is equal to 30. So, 15 minus 105, what is this equal to? Minus 90, minus 90 divided by 30, what is minus 90 by 30? That is minus 3. So, this is first one is minus 3, that means here xi minus a assumed mean, what is assumed mean? 105 divided by h, h is nothing but 30. So, 105 by 30 remains the same, just x, y values 15 minus 45 minus 75, 105, 135, 165, 195. Simplify will get the deviation di. Similarly, 45 minus 105 divided by 30 is minus 2. Again, 75 minus 105 divided by 30 is minus 1. Okay, 105 minus 105, 0 divided by 30 is 0. Again, 135 minus 105 divided by 30 is 1. 165 minus 105 divided by 30 is 2. Again, 195 minus 105 divided by 30 is 3. So, di is equal to minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. Square this. 3 square, minus 3 square is 9, minus 2 square is 4, 1 square is 1, 0 square is 0, 1 square is 1. 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9. Multiply fi and di, these two. 2 into minus 3 is minus 6. Again, 3 into minus 2 is also minus 6. Again, 5 into minus 1 is minus 5. So, we are multiplying fi with di. So, here di is 0 into fi. 10 into 0 is 0. Again, 3 into 1 is 3. Again, 5 into 2 is 10. And again, 2 into 3 is 6. So, this is fi di, right. Multiply this to fi and di square. 2 into 9, 2 into 9, 9 to the 18. Again, 3 into 4, 3, 4 is 12. Again, 5 into 1 is 5. Again, 10 into 0 is 0. Again, 3 into 1 is 3. Again, 5 into 4, 5, 4 is 20. And the last one. 2 into 9, 9 to the 18. So, these are the values. Okay. Now, add this. Now, add this is sigma fi di. Sigma fi di is equal to, if you add, now add this. If you add sigma fi xi, 3 plus 10 plus 6, 10 plus 6, 16 plus 19, 19 minus, add this, 6 and 6, 12, 12 and 5 is 17. 
19 minus 17 is this is equal to 2. Sigma Fi di is 2. Now, if you add this Fi di square 18 plus 12 plus 5 plus 3 plus 20 plus 18. So, if you add this, this is equal to 76. Sigma Fi di square is equal to 76. This is 76. Okay. Now, the mean is equal to, now find out the mean, therefore the mean x bar is equal to, what is the formula for this? A plus, that is assumed mean, plus sigma fi di divided by n into h, right. So, what is A here? A assumed mean is, mean is 105 plus sigma fi di, sigma fi di is 2 divided by n, n is 30 into h is also 30, okay. What happens? So, these two gets cancelled, 105 plus 2, that is equal to 107. So, therefore, the mean x bar is equal to 107. Now, find out the variance. The variance is equal to, variance is equal to h square into 1 over n times sigma fi di whole square minus sigma fi di divided by n whole the square. This is the formula. What is h? h is 30 square into sigma fi di whole square. Sigma fi di whole square is 76 divided by 30 minus sigma fi di sigma fi di is 2, 2 divided by n is again 30 whole the square, this is the, just keep 30 square as it is and take LCM here, 30 square is the LCM, okay, then 30 square on 30, 30 gets cancelled, 76 into 30 minus 30, 30 square gets cancelled, 2 square is 4, so this is 30 square, so what happens? If you multiply these two gets cancelled, 30 square, 30 square gets cancelled, 76 into 30 minus 4, multiply this, 76 into 30, 2280, 2280 minus 4, what is this equal to? This is equal to 2276, 2276, so therefore the variance is equal to 2276 in this case, that is it. So, any method you can use to simplify this problem, okay. So, this is how we are going to find the mean and the variance, very important for the 8 mass, right. Hope you followed. So, that is all regarding today's session. Let us meet with a different concept in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.